Today I will be talking about classical conditioning and the conditioning of phobias. So, what is classical conditioning? Classical conditioning occurs when two stimuli are repeatedly paired together which causes a conditioned response. The theory of classical conditioning was formed by Ivan Pavlov who conducted an experiment and found that he could condition dogs to salivate when they heard the sound of a bell. Before classical conditioning occurs, there is an unconditioned stimulus and an unconditioned response. During Pavlov's experiment, the neutral stimulus, which was the bell, and the unconditioned stimulus, which was the food, were paired together to create the unconditioned response of salivation. After repetitions of this pairing, the dogs began to show a conditioned response, which was salivating at the sound of the bell. So, how can classical conditioning create phobias? A phobia is an extreme fear to a stimuli that can cause anxiety and distress. Any stimuli can become a phobia if the person has an adverse experience to something that creates fear. A well-known experiment that demonstrates the conditioning of phobias is a Little Albert experiment which was conducted by Watson and Rayner. In this experiment, a nine-month-old infant known as Albert was conditioned to fear rats. Albert was continuously presented with a rat and at the same time a hammer would be struck against a steel bar to create a loud noise. Albert was scared of the sound and would cry when he heard this loud noise. After conditioning, Albert would cry when he saw the rat because he learned an association between the noise and the rat. Albert developed a strong phobia to the rat after the experiment and would show signs of fear when he saw similar objects such as cotton wool, the family dog and even Santa. Watson and Rayner demonstrated how classical conditioning can create phobias. However, the effects of phobias that are learned through classical conditioning may be significantly reduced over time. After the experiment had concluded, Albert's conditioned phobia of the rat significantly lessened over time and after a few months, Albert no longer had a phobia of rats. This is because his conditioned response became extinct after the stimuli were no longer paired together. In 1947, Maurer theorised a two-factor model that hypothesises that phobias are learned through classical conditioning and are maintained through operant conditioning. Classical conditioning explains how phobias can be developed, although it does not explain why phobias remain over time. Maurer theorised that phobias can be reinforced through operant conditioning because the behaviour is negatively reinforced. What is an example of a conditioned phobia using this model? A common phobia is arachnophobia, which is a fear of spiders. If a person is classically conditioned to fear spiders, they would be likely to avoid spiders in the future. By avoiding spiders, it would reduce the person's fear and anxiety at the time. However, by avoiding the spider, the person would be negatively reinforcing their behaviour through operant conditioning. If the person continues to avoid the spider, they are much more likely to fear spiders and maintain their phobia.